All right, I wanted to give an update quickly on the application of the pond shield. So I went with the competition blue, which was the lowest price color on Amazon at the time that I bought it. In preparation for the pond shield, I did sand everything with a 60 or 80 grit sandpaper and try to remove as much rust as I can. I cleaned all the surfaces with vinegar and then coated the white with a acid etching primer, the non-rust-oleum kind. As far as the application, I used a combination of uh, a small roller and a squeegee. Dump the pond armor, pond shield into the bottom, and then squeegeed it up the side. We're kind of two and a half hours after application here. Got a nice thick coat, and all the surfaces, all the seams look pretty good. I did watch a couple of the videos here about using a toothpick to pick off any of the little bits of dust or anything that's in there. Still a little bit of bubbles there. Most of those things that you see are old repairs of JB Waterweld that I had to do in the course of running this freezer for, it's been almost a year now actually. April 14th or so of last year is when I first put it into production. So I'm pretty happy with the color and the the way that it worked out, I did use the entire court in in kind of two coats. Um, so I made a small batch and painted it on there, rolled it on there, and then made another batch and uh, filled it in about 15 minutes later. Only a couple of little things that I know there's there's a little pockmark there. I'm not sure what was going on. And then I found another one, but coverage looks pretty even. And we will let this cure for at least 24 hours, maybe longer, although I'm anxious to get back in the plunge.